Today is the day that we're gonna talk about Asian skincare. What's up y'all? It's Sarah or Sachu or Sarah Chung. Today is the day that we're gonna talk about Asian skincare. There's this question people keep asking, is Western skincare better than Asian skincare? And the truth is, Asian skincare and Western skincare both have good and bad. I have a lot of favorite products from Asia and a lot of favorite products from the West, but I don't think I've ever actually done a video that's just dedicated to Asian skincare products. And since it's so hype right now, I figured I would just do a video to let y'all know some of my favorite products. And I actually worked with Wish Trend on this video to curate a box for y'all. Wish Trend, you've probably heard of it before. It's a great Korean retailer of skincare products and they ship pretty fast too compared to other websites. So I'll go into the individual products, but in this box I curated with them, there are four for full size products. The original price of all these products together is $88.50, but us a set, you're gonna get 36% off, which means you can get four full size products for $56.64, plus you get two free sheet masks. And all products, including the sheet masks, are fragrance free, because I'm always looking out for sensitive skin girls. So yeah, definitely go check it out. I love all these products I put in there. I mean, I picked them myself. And if you wanna dip your toe into Asian skincare, I highly recommend checking them out. This offer is only gonna be available for 30 days. So if you're watching this video on a later date and you still wanna try these products i would still recommend trying these products individually but yeah just want to share this deal with y'all now let's get into some asian skincare so the first step of your skincare routine and this is assuming you already cleanse your face your skin is completely clean i would use this dear claire's supple preparation unscented toner the original of this product is actually very popular on their website it's a little bit heavier than water and i feel like it's called the supple preparation toner because it actually has an aesthetic um purpose. It smooths out your skin. It makes your skin look really hydrated and supple. If you have um, dry patches or if, if you're prone to dryness, I think it just immediately kind of quenches your face and preps your skin for layers of skincare. It contains betaine, which balances your hydration and beta glucan. I think that's how you pronounce it, which fights redness. It also has arginine, which is a great anti-aging ingredient. By the way, just a note, unscented doesn't always mean fragrance free, but in this case it is. I'm so glad they made it an unscented version. I just think that more brands should do that like don't kick out your fragrance products for those who like fragrance but also give us an option now the second product i would use <sighs> i've actually purchased like three bottles of this myself this is the wish trend mandelic acid five percent skin prep water y'all know i love a good chemical exfoliant and i think mandelic acid is specifically good for people who have sensitive skin because it has a larger molecule than something like glycolic acid. Both mandelic acid and glycolic acid are alpha hydroxy acids, but because mandelic acid has larger molecular size, it takes longer for it to penetrate your skin, meaning that it's gentler on your skin because it takes longer for it to kind of do its thing. So this is a great option for people who are starting out with chemical exfoliants, or you have already tried beta hydroxy acids, glycolic acids, and they're a little bit too harsh for you. This is a great option. I like to use this on days when I've been wearing a lot of makeup or my skin just feels a little bit extra sensitive and I still want to do a little bit of chemical exfoliation. This is what I use. Try your best to keep this packaging out of sunlight, but other than that, this is great. Acids can remove dead skin cells, it can smooth texture. This is a fantastic chemical exfoliant. Next product I have here is the Colzarex Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. First of all, if you've never tried Cozarx, I think it's a great brand. A lot of their products are really effective and they also focus a lot on fighting acne. They have a blackhead liquid, which is basically just an alpha hydroxy acid that's very effective. They also have an AHA BHA spray. I'm looking forward to seeing more from this brand, but I've chosen the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This I believe Kehlani used this in her Vogue video, so this became super popular. But the reason why I wanted to choose this is because snail mucin is such a great ingredient that not a lot of Western skincare brands are using. This is basically 96 snail mucin and the rest of the ingredients are just to stabilize and preserve this ingredient. So it's almost pure snail mucin. It has a really sticky, icky, thick consistency. I mean, it feels exactly like what slime would feel like. But I love it because it's a really great humectant. Snail mucin contains hyaluronic acid and peptides, so it's really great for hydrating your skin, plumping up your skin before adding moisturizer. It's also a really gentle ingredient and it's not too heavy, so I really would recommend this to all skin types. If you like hyaluronic acid and you are looking for a little bit more oomph, I recommend upgrading to this. The last product in the Sachu box is an eye butter that I've been really loving. It's called the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. It's a little small tube and it's fragrance free. Well, every product in my box is fragrance free, but this is a great eye butter because it contains vitamin A, vitamin E, peptides. I always say that eye creams aren't necessary, but it's just nice to give a little bit of extra care to your eyes, especially if you're like me and you wear makeup all the time, give a little bit of extra care to that area because you put her through a lot more. So 
treat her well. But the reason why I really wanted to include this and talk about this eye cream is because I know an issue that a lot of people suffer from is milia around the eyes, usually caused by heavy eye creams. I personally don't have that problem and I love heavy eye creams. I think it's something to be mindful of and I love that this is in a squeeze tube. It's very hygienic. It has all the key ingredients to really firm up that area and blur fine lines, but it's not too heavy. Light enough for day use, but it's also not too light that it doesn't do anything. It, on their website, they actually develop this with people who have milia in mind. So I love that basically anybody can use this eye cream. Those are all the products in my box. I'm gonna talk about these two sheet masks before I go into the rest of the skincare routine. If I were to use sheet masks in my skincare routine, I would probably do this after cleansing and before putting on acids. So kind of in place of the toner. These two sheet masks will be part of the box and this one specifically is so good. It's fragrance free and it has ceramides on ceramides on ceramides. If you have dry skin, this is the sheet mask for you. It just locks in moisture when there is a sheet on top of all that essence. So yeah, I'm so excited that I found a fragrance free sheet mask because I think in Korean skincare, it's very difficult for a brand to have 20, 30 different sheet masks. And the way that a lot of brands like to differentiate them is to add different scents, different flavors to every single type of sheet mask. Oh my God, this SPF, this sunscreen changed the game. It is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SPF 50. Again, they made this unscented version of an original sunscreen they had, and this actually became more popular than their original product. It's probably one of the best sunscreens for sensitive skin. It has such a nice finish as well. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like you have a white cast. It has no essential oils and it's easy to reapply. It doesn't look oily. I cannot say enough good things about it. If you haven't tried this yet, you have to. I don't think I've ever met anyone who tried this sunscreen and hated it. <laughs> I think this and the Black Girl Sunscreen Kits SPF 50, these two are probably my no, definitely my favorite sunscreens of all time. So yeah, that is it. Please let me know if there are any Asian skincare products or brands that are fragrance free and you really enjoy and you think that I should try. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. I'll see you next week. Bye.